hexagonal based pyramid regular. This is the hexagonal based pyramid. There's six sides on the base and the apex here. What we want to do now is the elevation of this is going to be like this. In other words, it's upside down. So when we look down on top of the plan, we're looking at the base. So all the lines will be dotted lines. So to draw this hexagon, we just use the six degrees set square. And that gets us those lines and then got it drawn. So now once we have it drawn, we have to get the lines that show the triangles. So because there's an even number, we can join the diagonals across. So just join the diagonals in the hexagon. So that point to that point. And this time they have to be dotted lines. So we join the dotted lines across. And that's that complete. And now we're, we're looking directly down on the base. In elevation, it's going to look like this. You see three surfaces, the red surface, the orange surface and the yellow surface. So bring the points up from the plan and bring the height across and join them back down to the point. And that's the elevation complete there. This is what we see now, coloured in. And the dotted lines in the plan. We've given a new XY line here on the right, so we're going to be looking at it from the left. Project at 90 degrees to the XY line. So we're taking the distances in the plan and mark them out in the new elevation. This time I've drawn a 45 degree line from the junction of the two XY lines. That's at 45 degrees. That means that this distance here is the same distance as across there. That's a 45 degree triangle there. Two sides are equal. That distance is equal to that distance. The same is true for this line here. That There's your triangle again. So your distances are the same. Now, this is the angle we're looking at. Look at it along that arrow. So when we turn it over and look directly down the arrow, that's what we're going to see there. We'll see two surfaces. The pink surface and the yellow surface. This, these two points here are the outside points in plan. So it's the outside line. So bring those points out to the outside line. Now, there's two points there. Now, at the back, there's a point directly behind and we bring that point across. This one is on number one. The outside point here, it's on the middle line. So bring it across to the middle line. And that gets that point there. The apex, bring it across, it's on that bottom line and bring it across and that gets the center point. And now join those points up to get the end view. So you're just gonna find the end view. And that's the end view complete. And that's what it looks like there. You have the pink surface and the yellow surface. Now we've indexed these points. Zero is the apex or O. A is the outside point of the yellow triangle in the elevation. So that's point A there. 
front point F and the back point is B, FB. Front point is E and the back point is C, so it's E, C. And the outside point there is D. We're looking at from the left hand side, these points we have B, C, so this point at the top is B, C. A, D is the middle one. And F, E is the one on the right hand side. And that's that drawing complete. Now we're given this X, Y line at 60 degrees. So project down at 30 degrees from the points in the elevation. And the distances we take are the distances down here. So mark the piece of paper as usual and taking the piece of paper to the new view, step off one, two and three and draw those lines then parallel with your X, Y line. Now, this is the view that we have so we're looking at it in the direction of the arrow so if we look directly down the arrow we're going to see the base and two triangles these two triangles the orange and the brown surface here and the base and there will be a couple of dotted lines then underneath so now point A is, is the outside point here. So it's on line number two. So bring A down to number two. Point B is on line one. So bring B down to one. Point C is on line one. Bring C down to line one. And D is on line two. So bring D down from the elevation and mark it on line two. And E is on line 3, so bring E out to line 3, and F is also on line 3. And there are the points. And the apex O is on line 2, so that gets you the point of the pyramid. Now, just line those points up. And um, when we get that done, there's a couple of dotted lines now. At the back, there's a dotted line there, and the center one there, there's a dotted line, and the very outside one. So now, that's the drawing complete. I've just put the indexing on there so that you can see it. And now, that was what we were looking at there. So when we put the arrow on and look directly down that, that's the view we see there. That's your drawing complete.